Hey everyone, I'm going to teach you how to get started with Hedera's Java SDK. We're going to start with an Eclipse by going to File, New, and all the way down to Other. We're going to start with a Maven project, install it at the default workspace location, and choose Maven Archetype Quick Start. Next we'll assign it an artifact ID that makes sense, maybe just SDK for this example. By clicking Finish we'll generate our new Java project. And next, we'll expand this project, go all the way down to palm.xml, and add Hedera's Java SDK as the next dependency. The group ID will be com.hedera.hashgraph. The artifact ID will be SDK. And the version that I'm currently running is 0.7.0. .0. But that might be updated by the time that you're running this yourself. By saving this file, we'll have installed this dependency, and next we're going to test it out and make sure that it was installed correctly. And so you should be able to go up to SDK and click New, go to Java Class, and name this something that makes sense, perhaps SDK Example, and we're going to give this a main function. The first thing we're going to do after opening up that file is we're going to import Hedera exceptions from the Hedera Java SDK. And we're going to throw those exceptions from the main function we just created. After doing that, we're going to import our crypto package from the Hedera Java SDK, specifically the ED25519 keys that users sign their transactions with. We're going to generate a new private key, specifically that ED25519 key. And then we're going to generate a public key that is associated with that private key. After doing that, we're going to print both of these out to the console, just so that we can make sure that our installation was correct. Oh, it looks like I accidentally typed generate public key instead of get public key. But after fixing that typo, we should be able to save this file and run it. Oh, congratulations, it looks like we successfully generated our key pairing using the Hedera Java SDK, which verifies that we had a correct installation. Now you should be able to move on to the next tutorials, but please feel free to let us know if you have any issues in the comments below.